Good evening. This is your homework for today. If you remember, today we watched a video about ecosystems and investigated a problem in an ecosystem caused by humans. We're going to continue our study, and our objective is to compare food chains in a specific ecosystem and their corresponding food web. We're going to go over some terms and definitions, an example, and then it'll be your turn. So here's a link to the video we watched today. If you weren't in class and didn't get a chance to watch it, I'd check it out. Or if you've seen it, you can look at it again. It talked a little bit about ecosystems. And an ecosystem is a group of living organisms in one area, along with non-living parts of the environment that interact as a system. In the video we watched, it talked about an ecosystem, the ocean, and a problem with the food chain in that ecosystem. So what is a food chain? It shows how energy is passed on in an ecosystem, and energy is lost as it moves down the chain. We can take food chains from an ecosystem, and we can create a food web, which shows how food chains are related. So let's look at a couple food chains here. These are food chains for the Sonoran Desert, where we live. And all the food chains are going to start with the sun. The sun's energy is going to go into the plants or producers. And for the first one, we have the mesquite tree. The second chain, we have the prickly pear. Then we have that energy going on to the herbivores the dove and the javelina. The dove eats the mesquite tree and the javelina eats the prickly pear. Next we have omnivore. Our omnivore for both is the coyote and the coyote eats the dove and the coyote also eats the javelina. The coyote, since it's an omnivore, also eats the mesquite tree and for the second chain also eats the prickly pear. And then our last um, animal is the mountain lion. It's a carnivore. It just eats the coyote for both of these food chains. So here are two food chains. As you can see, of course, we both start with the sun. So we're going to start with the sun. We just need one sun for our food web. And then we have the mesquite tree and the prickly pear. So our sun's energy, we are going to link to the mesquite tree and to the prickly pear using lines with arrows showing the energy flow. And then the mesquite tree is eaten by the dove. So we'll make a line from the mesquite tree to the dove. And then the prickly pear, we'll make a line to the javelina. Next is our omnivore, and we're going to need more connections to our omnivore because the coyote eats the dove, mesquite tree, javelina, and prickly pear. So we need lines from all four of those to the coyote. And our last one, the mountain lion, is just a carnivore, and that's just going to eat the coyote. So we just have one line from the coyote to the mountain lion. So now it is going to be your turn. For the ecosystem you researched today in class, I want you to create two food chains and combine the chains into a food web. If you are absent, you may use the ecosystem of your choice or the one mentioned in the video. This is going to be due tomorrow. You can go ahead and draw out your chains and web on a piece of paper if you'd like. You can also use your computer and make a food chain and food make your food chains and food web and you can print it out whatever works best for you and then here are just my references you can check those out they might help you and I will see you tomorrow in class